We are the Delta Eggs and you are on the AU Review. Just being in the States and all kind of give you inspiration for music and... Oh, yeah. I think New, New York really did. Yeah. Um, I had a Wu-Tang shirt on before, but I shrunk it in the wash so I couldn't wear it. Yeah. And just like tapping back into stuff that I used to listen to like 12 years ago and, we and just up, hearing it. When we were in LA, we went to a um, Jonathan Wilson's house for a party and like just being around those kind of people as well, it's just like everyone's hanging out and having a good time. Have you heard that newish record of his? It's pretty... It's so good. It's pretty spot on. Yeah. It's a good driving record. But yeah, so it's like you just kind of take bits from all of that, those experiences I don't know, it's like, yeah. you just, you know, whatever comes out of you comes out, but I, you'd attribute it to some of the travel, for sure. And tell me about the title of the record. What's, what, where does that come from? Um, well, this event, well, it started off with, um, we rediscovered, because the Hand of Sebasius is this mythological sort of um, like icon a Roman that's been, it's mythology. supposed to be passed on through different cultures over throughout the years, and every, like, you know, the Romans and the Greek, yeah, and then the... Um, the Jewish sort of culture have their own different versions of it, but my understanding is it's like kind of one of those things that like ro like Roman generals would have wanted to have it because that means they would be invincible in battle, that, that yeah. sort of shit. But and now we've, we've turned it into some sort of yeah. celebrity demigod. Yeah, we've kind of taken it. So Dip Sebasius is you can't, like a, you can't fail in music with is the, a demigod of celebrity because I mean a lot. <laughs> <laughs> the world is consumed by that, you know. We made so up our own spelling as we've well. We've kind of yeah, we've kind of it's just like a fun. You know, people. A lot of people are a bit like whacked out by it, and it's just like, it's just our fun little thing that we've we've done, and, and we've taken something that has a lot of meaning and turned it into something that's kind of funny and but still has our own the ethos. put our own rig spin on it. You know, <laughs> we like taking the piss a lot, but yeah. we're it's a little tongue in cheek, but it's still pretty sick though. And after you get back from the states, you've got a tour lined up. We do have a tour. Yeah, yeah, we'll be touring we have said a tour, album. Lazar. <laughs> Laza, we're touring, Laza. We're, we're going, we're fucking touring <laughs> for like three weeks. No, oh, three weeks? No, yeah, it's about three or three four weeks. weeks. Yeah, but it's just basically... It's, we're, hit, it's, we're hitting the West Coast. We are, we're doing the we West Coast. We have done a record tour over the, the West Coast. The South Coast and the East Coast. We're hitting all the coasts. Yeah. We're going to get coastal. So we're doing like, I don't know where we start. Where do we start? Perth? Yeah, no. uh, yeah, we are. We're just, we're touring. <laughs> we're doing like three metal we, we like doing shows all the way up. And uh, look forward to meeting plenty of frothers and non-frothers and then converting them to frothers. Yeah, that's how it works.